And tonight we spoke with some of the brightest mathematicians in the state about why kids in South Carolina are losing interest and not performing well in that subject. Peyton Lewis is in studio tonight to tell us more. Peyton, what's going on? JR, so many people share a dislike for math, and a lot of people I spoke with tonight said it starts young. But this bad relationship with numbers is not only causing declining test scores, but heartache for some colleges and universities in the area. Pliny's equilibria, and then just like with other differential equations, we can look at the Jacobian. A conversation many might find boring or maybe even dozing off to right now. But these few find it fascinating. Professors, mathematicians, and math students came together to present and share math concepts with their peers over dinner at Columbia College. Then I will know that the values of the functions at the point P. And the reason they think your eyes might be feeling heavy is because you've been conditioned to think that way. I definitely think it starts a lot from you just have one bad experience and then they just never leave it and they just they continue to hate math and it's honestly really sad because math can be fun. A study presented at the International Conference of Mathematics and Science Education showed a decreased interest for students learning math over the last 10 years, saying that less than 9% of students enjoy math lessons. And this reflects here locally in South Carolina as well. Math scores for SC Ready mirror national assessment data, which show a decline post-pandemic. Just 39% of students met or exceeded expectations last school year. SC Ready tests students from third through eighth grade, which Dr. Alexandru Atim says is the sweet spot to keep kids interested in learning math. Middle school, um, high school, they should probably do a better job in promoting math. Columbia College, USC, Benedict, Charleston Southern, and other schools were included in the dinner. And most said their math programs only had around 20 to 30 students, which is becoming a problem for smaller colleges. There are, there are universities, uh, colleges in South Carolina that they don't offer uh, uh, math degrees anymore. Undergrad students like Jarrell Washington said he would love to see other young people find a passion to pursue math. It just needs to be, it has to be broadcasted more in order to, be, to feel more comfortable or be, quote unquote, be a norm. And according to the, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there's actually a 23% increase in demand for people with math degrees right now. The average salary of a person using their math degree in their career is about $75,000 a year. Reporting live in studio, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX.